one of the biggest mistake that software developers make is that they undercharge for their services. Hello and welcome to a brand new series entitled Should I Learn? Now we get a lot of questions from students asking us should I learn about this uh, concept or should I learn this particular uh, technology? So instead of answering them all individually, we decided to make a series and put it out onto our YouTube channel for all who want to benefit from it, where we answer those particular questions. Should I learn? Now in today's video, we're going to be answering the question, should I learn software project management? Now before we get to that, tell us what is software project management? So software project management is actually a subfield of project management which has to do everything with planning, scheduling, resource allocation, pricing, execution, tracking, and delivery of your software project. So basically software project management has to do with the entire life cycle of a software project, not just the coding aspect. Because before you actually get down to coding, there's a whole lot of things that you need to do. There's a whole lot of planning that you need to do. There's a whole lot of back and forth communication with your client. There's a whole lot of documentation that you need to do. And then comes in the coding. And after coding also, the, the entire handover process or the switch over if the client is switching from an old system to a new system that all falls under the scope of software project management. I see. And okay, now the, the big question, should I learn software project management? Absolutely. I think every software developer that's looking to get into professional development should learn software project management for the simple reason that being a coder alone is no guarantee that you're going to have success in your, in your career. I'll tell you why. Let's take an example. Let's say we've got a software developer. Her name is Tandi, for example. Now, Tandi is a freelancer. She goes to a company. She offers them her services. They accept her services and they say, well, develop this system for us. Now, Tandi is absolutely not going to take out a computer, open her IDE, her software development application and start coding. Mm -hmm. There's so many things to do before that. She needs to understand exactly what the client needs. She needs to understand what are the implications for her as a developer, how long it's going to take her to develop, what are the different sections of the system she's going to develop, and also very importantly, critically important, how much it's going to cost her to develop the system and how much is she going to charge the client. One of the biggest mistakes I see software developers making, and I've been in this game for over two decades now, one of the biggest mistakes that software developers make is that they undercharge for their services. They charge incorrectly. And what happens as a result is because they plan poorly, they undercharge. And because they undercharge, they can't do justice to the project. And because they can't do justice to the project, it leads to conflict between the client and the developer, and everything goes down the tubes after that. It's just a, 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 a disaster through and through. I mean, just last week, I had somebody call me and said, you know what, we had one agreement with our software developer, but somewhere down, li down the line with the project, they uh, decided they want more money out of this, and I don't think that's fair. That's what the client said. And they wanted to know if I'd take over the software project, which I don't do anymore. I mean, we're just focusing on IT varsity and on training. So it's very important that you price yourself well. The other thing is scheduling. This is another cardinal sin that software developers make. We tend to make false promises, not deliberately, but completely innocently, we make this, this mistake of over-promising. So we'd say to the client, yeah, I'll have this system ready for you by end of next month. But you didn't plan yourself. Mm -hmm. and because you didn't plan yourself, you didn't realize that this project would take at least three months, not just one month or six weeks. It would take at least three months to complete. And that's being conservative. So what you would, if you did your planning properly, you'd realize that this was a 
three month project and I have to add in another month for bug fixes and feature improvements and only then will this project be complete. So then you will charge accordingly. So it's all kind of interrelated. And this is a mistake. And it's not just individual software developers. It's companies, software development companies that also make that mistake, undercharging. Remember, software projects are very complex. And people underestimate the complexity of software projects. Mm -hmm. And I hate to see software developers making this mistake over and over and over again undercharging, overpromising, and losing their reputation in the process. So again, to answer your question, should I learn software project management? Absolutely. You have to learn software project ma management unless you're doing coding just as a hobby. But if you want to do it as a professional, whether it's something as simple as web design or e-commerce development, or you're going to go all the way through full stack software development or mobile apps, Definitely, you have to learn software development, uh, software project management skills, along with your software development skills. I see. So it's actually critically important for any career in, in software development. And you can, so, um, okay, so I'm pretty sure you convinced everyone why they should learn software project management. But how? What, what's the best way to go about this? Well, there's, there's lots of ways to go about learning software project management. I mean, if you are an IT varsity student, then uh, project 12 of the entrepreneur course is everything to do about software project management is the last uh, module before you you graduate and the reason we brought it at the end is because now the the final project which is your your keystone project is almost your your entry into the real world of software development and so we found it appropriate to bring it bring software project management right there because this is the biggest project you're going to build in the entrepreneur course. So if you're an IT Varsity student, no stress, it's already there. If you're not an IT Varsity student, maybe Google it up. Uh, there's some really good books on uh, software project management, IT project management, etc. I know there's a couple of books from Microsoft and uh, CompTIA. You can look at those books and learn software uh, project management skills. But definitely, everybody needs to learn it. Awesome. So I think you definitely answered that question for us. Should I learn software project management? I think the answer is if you want to get into development of any kind, answer is definitely 100% yes.